These are the top 10 coolest features of the Jeep Grand Wagoneer and most of them are inside because the interior is sick. Number one, you have a secret screen that you can activate with this button right here. Bam, 10 inch touchscreen comes down for your climate control and it doubles as a hidden compartment. So you can grab your valuables, throw them in there, press the button again, and nobody will even know it's there. I like that. Number two is the sunroof that you can get with this car. This is the base version. You have one here and one all the way in the back, but as an upgrade, you can go all out and get this enormous glass panel panoramic roof that goes from the front seat all the way to the third row and it even has a map of Detroit on it and the factory in which the Wagoneers are built. Number three is the passenger infotainment system. You actually have a screen here that you can activate by pressing this button and then what happens is you now have control of the audio, your video, and your HDMI, which you can pop in there. If you watch a movie, play some PlayStation. What's cool is that the driver can't see anything. So if you look from this side, the screen goes black. You can't see anything. It's completely blinded for privacy. You can't see anything, right? No. Nope. It's to not distract the driver in case the passenger is watching poor, poor quality videos. What? Poor quality videos. Four is that this rear view mirror turns into a screen. You flick that, boom. You get the camera in the back because this is a long ass car. So sometimes you just want to flick the camera and boom, we can flick it back. Five is that the start stop isn't just a button. It's actually like this ball. It's got this leather wrap around it, which is super cool. That's a button that you press pretty often. So it's nice to have something unique. Number six is this entire space right here. You have this that rolls back like that, maybe for your phone. You have your cup holders here like that. You can bring this back like that and you have a fridge. Press this button to make it even colder. Number seven, the car has a night vision camera, so you can see things at night that you normally wouldn't see, like people or animals. Number eight is that you can lower the entire car by pressing this button twice. So you press that. And now it's much easier to get in. Number nine is the fam cam. Press that like this. You actually have cameras that show you the second and the third row to see what your children are up to. If anyone's doing anything they shouldn't be doing, this is how you spy on them. And the best part is that the kids probably have no idea that you actually even have this. You can even zoom in. So, you know, this passenger, that passenger, this one. So, yep, that's your fam cam. And number 10 are the way the lights dance. Go check them out. All right, these are 10 other not as cool, but still cool things about the Wagoneer. Number one is that the step pops out when you get out of the car, making it easier to get in, and the step just elegantly folds in and out. Number two is the Wagoneer branding everywhere. Instead of saying Jeep, it says Grand Wagoneer. Number three is that this is a complete makeover of the original Grand Wagoneer from like 40 years ago that had that woody look, you know, with the wood panels on the doors. I've seen renders of this car with the wood panels, and surprisingly, I gotta say I actually love it. Number four is that this car comes with a ton of power ports. I think you have about 11 USBs alone. Number five is the dual tone paint. The main body is white, but the upper half is this super elegant glossy black. It makes the car look really nice. Number six is the price. This is a luxury vehicle, but it starts at $75,000. Number seven are the copper tones on the side of the letters. You have brushed metallic on the front, but on the side you have copper. It looks super clean. Number eight is the third row access. It's super easy. You just press this button, slide it forward, and you're in. Number nine is that you have 45 inches of displays in the front. So over here you have 11 inches, over there you have 12, over here you have 10, and over there you have 12 as well. And that still doesn't even count this. So a little bit more than 45. Number 10 are the seats. You can adjust them in a million different ways. And obviously you have your temperature control and massages as well. So that's it. That's why I like the Wagoneer. Let me know what you guys think and what car we should do next.